By the way, that does remind me, it is officially the one year anniversary of Crown's Crypto Cave. Um, wow, what a fucking journey. Oh my God, absolutely incredible. And it's so cool because I feel like the people who I've known here since the beginning or even like during the very early days, like there's a great camaraderie between those people. It's been quite the journey. So I do want to say massive, massive thank you. Of course, I am having a sale on all my programs as well to say thank you. Oh, yeah. You know, higher time frames are obviously bearish. Nothing's really changed from that perspective. I would say more neutral than anything. Of course, whenever you're in an overall market trend, which is a downtrend, I'm gonna go with the downside. I'm always gonna be bearish in a bear market. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Happy birthday. Hope everyone's having the best birthday possible in here, by the way. The Stokes on the weekly have been telling you that Bitcoin is is controlled by bears since 10,000 was rejected last year, essentially. When the Stokes are going fucking vertical like this, like a very erect green dildo, you'd expect to see it in a very massive erect green dildo on price action as well. And we do not see that. We're not even breaking the range. You see the same sort of signature on the RSI. When the RSI kind of rises like this, but the ba -da -ba -ba -ba. but when RSI is kind of floating up like this, but price action is essentially sideways, that's not a good sign, man. It's basically allowing the RSI to kind of reset still within the context of the bearish control zone, but not breaking anything and causing a change of behavior. Can you check out the Euro USD? Yeah, LaFrog. Hey, what's up, LaFrog? How you doing, my friend? I think I was bearish on this last time I looked and I'm probably still bearish. Yep, I'm still bearish on it. Bearish divergence on the hourly. You can use lower time frames on uh, Forex, by the way. It's, it's viable. When I was a market maker, I traded the five minute chart using the five, the 20 and the 50 exponential. That's how I made my living. In cryptocurrency, it doesn't really work right now. I don't have a strong opinion on what we do in the very low time frames. I don't think that that is what real technical analysis is about. Real technical analysis and trading is about finding good setups that have good risk reward potential and then understanding that, you know, nothing is 100% going to work out ever. It's a game of, of, of putting in those statistics on your side, on, in your favor, and then over time you can make them work for you. That's where this that uh, uh, that I've seen it done. I've I've never seen anyone like get everything right. Whether we break below 3,800 or, or or test this area first, that's irrelevant to me. Those are both trade potentials. Massive thank you for joining me on this lovely Tuesday. Now let's talk about some goddamn magic and net money and Bitcoin. This ascending broadening wedge did break out to the downside. We've actually come back and retested it um, once, twice. Did reject off of it, but I think that Bitcoin overall is likely going to put in some time grinding 3,900, and then likely you know likely gravity takes over. Let's go check out traditional markets though i'm curious what uh, spies are doing they are up likely to take another stab back up to the prior highs i do want to be very cognizant of the fact that there is a that that there is a daily dildo golden cross going on right now which is something that i really don't like trading against so this is a snapshot of the crypto market in february of 2014 basically right before the bear market started of 2014 2015 right you'll remember a few of these coins right here most likely bitcoin litecoin uh mr ripples nipples doggy coin all all household names the rest of these guys where the fuck are they now are they anywhere near their prior high just because bitcoin pumped again actually no most of them are not most of these things never were to be seen again tilray huh some beat some weed stocks sure last i looked at this it was in a massive consolidation and we are ooh. Mm -hmm. We broke the more preliminary consolidation right here, retested the area as resistance, confirmed as resistance below all major moving averages, broke this horizontal right here, did find support on the prior low, double bottom right there, probably gonna charge back up and test this 70, $76 region I'd look for. What hourly would you scalp BNB on? You mean what time frame would I scalp BNB on? Now, my personal rule is I really don't like going under any time frame below like an hourly. And really, if you wanna make life easy for or easier for yourself, you don't need to go below a four hour like ever. And overall, Bitcoin doing absolutely nothing in the overnight hours, as we you know, said was pretty much likely. Nothing really has changed from the medium time frame perspective as far as I'm concerned right now. I want to be saving my account for when we actually break one of these major areas that we just spoke about, because those are where the, you know, those are where the nice trades can happen. Um, and really, like, how many of those do you have to find a month to make a living, right? I mean, we caught the 6,300 short down to 3,000. I mean, it's like, how many of those do you, do you need to live per year? I mean, if you do it right, not, <laughs> you need maybe one for every five, 10 years. Uh, going over here to the Crypto Fear and Greed Index, you can see that we're actually taking out a 54 right now, which is neutralish. We were greedy the last couple days. But again, the trend here has been each and every time that, you know, the Crypto Fear and Greed Index gets above a 50 marker, that has called the tops of the past year really, really well. Uh, what's Mr. Buterall doing? Mr. Buterall is certainly the weakest and the sickest of the bunch overall in the context of, an, of a massive rising channel, right? Again, do I think that, um, you know, if, if Bitcoin were to break out to the upside above 3930, Mr. Buterall probably gets pulled up as well. Yeah, let's go look at Dixie. Dixie on a weekly looking okay. Lower time frames are bouncing off support right here. And overall, I do have this as likely an ascending triangle. And with the support coming in right here, I would look for this bounce to actually get picked up a little bit more. As far as the weekly goes, I think that that's, this is fine for a pullback. Typically, these things will break when they're about 69% full. 
um, will explode, will burst to the to its maximum. But um, this one's pretty damn close. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. And of course, as far as the medium term time frames go, the picture has not changed. It's not been changed since the last, uh, what was it, like two weeks right over here in um, uh, late-ish February. But of course, I always want to make it of paramount importance that as long, you know, whichever one does actually get taken out first, that will be the next medium term direction for Bitcoin. And when I see medium term direction, I mean like, you know, for a month or two, probably I'm not really trading these ranges until we actually break out of the range. Um, that's where I start to have strong opinions as a trader for right now. It's you know it's more like a little bit of scalp here and there if that okay there we go all righty cool nice place man thanks bro it's nice living in a castle on a ship <laughs> in an alien yeah. world hey richard so for <clears throat> everyone here who doesn't know you and and also for myself man could you please introduce yourself and uh tell your story sure yeah i'm uh, richard hart i've got uh, fifty thousand followers on twitter richard hart win about 38,000 on YouTube, Richard Hart, retired in 2003, started traveling the world a bit, moved down to Panama, got shit robbed out of me, you know, blew uh, 10 years of my life just playing video games and traveling. And then, uh, <laughs> there's so many things in crypto that are just, from a speculator's perspective, so like enraging, right? Like yeah. I, on my YouTube comments, somebody was just tweeting to me, IOTA has got... 70 new board members or something and i'm like why don't you tell them to buy the dip asshole it's down 95 percent you know <laughs> like what do you want you want board you know, members or do you want your fucking price to not be down 95 percent? you stupid fuck how dare you even comment on my fucking channel you retarded mongo i really wanted to bring you on to speak about bitcoin hex it's something that a lot sure. of people in this community have asked about and mm -hmm. i have no idea about it i typically steer steer, uh, steer away from all to be quite honest with you but i'm yep. curious man i'm curious a lot of people were asking about it so i'd love to, i'd love to have you actually explain it i want to make a thousand x i don't give a fuck about another 10x i'm not i'm not gonna wait five years to get a 10x or whatever fuck that i want more x now right so what i'd set out to do was design a comp uh, a coin that would pump harder than any other coin before it's designed every single metric every single piece of game theory that i could find every pump of mental has been shoved into the coin so hold on let me now, just stop you there for a second yeah you quite literally went out of your way to to create a pump and dump. Yeah. Well, no okay. dump. It okay, doesn't need no to be dump. a dump. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, please, please go on then. So what do I have? I have a coin that pays people that stake instead of mine. So you don't enrich electric companies and weird mining manufacturers that try and fuck you with hard forks and give you a fake Bitcoin anyway. I'm sure you've got questions. And look, I've, I have literally faced over the last year, every hard question from every very angry, very hateful person. And I can answer oh, sure, eloquently sure. any point that you have at all. Yeah, man, I'd love to read some questions off of the uh, off the chat right now. And, you know, you come off as a very, 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 very intelligent person, Richard. So I'm sure that this is going to go over well. <laughs> all right, let's see. Dude, what I, I eat shit on the Internet all day, every day. <laughs> you couldn't possibly Dude. give me money if you wanted to. You, you literally cannot give me money, but everyone calls me a scammer, which I think is fucking hilarious. Oh, I, I, I think, I think you're definitely out of the scammer category just for the fact that you are pretty honest with what you're talking about. I mean, to be quite honest, I'm not quite sure how that all comes off, but you're honest with what you're talking about, which is what matters. So it's like, you can't really scam people if you're telling them what the fuck it is. Right. My big question would be, what's the incentive for you to do this? You say that you're rich. You say that you're, you know, you're, you're yeah. good to go. Why do you want to make something like this that it's, you know, it's, it's, it sounds like you just want it to pump and then pay you. And you know, what's, what's the real incentive uh, besides that? Well, one part jealousy. I don't jealousy. like when people make more money than I do. Okay, it makes me so, angry. So you, okay. So you have like right? an ego thing where you so, just want to make money. Well, this, I, I understand that, man. Look, I, ideally, I that. ideally, I wouldn't be doing this. Ideally, I would be doing medical research because the crypto bubble came. I got a lot more rich. It didn't change my life at all. I should have put the last two years into medical research and the SciVive, which is like how to survive through science movement that I'm trying to get people to do. If you die like Steve Jobs did, rich and dead, you're a failure. You're a tragedy. While you were alive, your money was being spent. It just wasn't being spent by you. So when you have huge economic mass and you don't deploy it in, to your own benefit, you're a tragedy. I know everything there is to know about marketing. They told